Hi guys, it's Josh from Apt here at CES 2014 with Glenn Palmer of Palmer Performance, who has an app that integrates with App Radio 3. Glenn, can you show us how this works? Sure. Uh, this is a smartphone app. There is a required hardware to tie into the car's OBD2 port. That wirelessly is sent to the smartphone, which connects to the App Radio 3 so that the App Radio 3 takes over screen controls of the app. Our app is very detailed car information and diagnostics tool. Uh, it takes many of the components that are available from the car's computer, shows them on the screen. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of options in that left column to navigate through. There are several different options. Uh, the dashboards themselves give quite a bit of information about the motor controls. and their functions and what's going on with the car. We have some very detailed mileage calculations and things going on, so you get a histogram of mileage rather than just the instant and average, but we also give that. A lot of these features uh, with the uh, various gauges, they're changeable, so we get more options. The customer can choose what they want to show on the screen. A long touch, uh, puts you back to the main menu which shows some of our other features. There is a performance screen where you can run a quarter mile time, zero to 60. <laughs> it actually runs you through the yellow and green light for a drag race. All right. And if you want to boast because you had a really good run, it will send a shared page <laughs> screenshot off to your buddies. That's fantastic. Other features that we have available from the main menu is the skid pad feature where it uh, actually, as you drive around, records the G-forces and keeps history of those. It can be data logged. It also, if you're an off-roader, has an inclinometer so that through the phone's accelerometer, huh. you can see how you're traversing the terrain. <laughs> there are several other features here. It will check and clear codes also for your car and you can record you can input several different vehicles so that as you trade from car to car with your smartphone, you yeah. can switch it. continue cool. to use the features. There is one other feature that is a, a simplified gauge package where you can create your own gauge very simply. Uh, this can be changed to a boost gauge or an RPM with different features within a matter of a minute or two, each one. That's great. Now, that home screen has that left column with, like, I saw, like, maybe six... Uh, little icons, are, are those all like quick shortcuts that you can customize on this screen or are we looking at a certain screen that kind of has a set option? These are set screens, they are editable but it's a lot more detailed and more difficult than our simple one. Okay. But, and so we have tried to put in several different options where we switch it from intake temperature to power or other things so the customer can try to customize it a little bit right, with what cool. they have. But in here we have the uh, the mileage graph, that one is uh, very detailed stats of your trip or your engine parameters or even the uh, gear selection, what gear you're in, and fill up stats. You can actually track the mileage and how much you're putting in. It'll keep track of the, the fuel you've used over a long period of time. That's great. All right, Dash Command looks awesome. Thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you. All right, guys, you can find out more information about all the different things here at CES 2014 and App Radio 3 apps are going to be reviewed more and more of them, but Dash Command is pretty cool, so stay tuned.